Hey guys, how you doing? Ray here again. Uh, today, this is just going to be a quick short video <clears throat> about servo problems. Uh, on the cars, it is a little bit easier. Uh, if the servo is not working right, just basically reverse it. Okay, um, <clears throat> with helicopters, it can be a little bit more complicated. And <clears throat> basically got to discuss quickly and explain to you what to do if you can't get your three cyclic servos to cooperate for you, okay? Sometimes, uh, I know a lot of people build clones, okay, on YouTube. Uh, you can run into that problem a lot with building clones, not having uh, servos that cooperate. And uh, we're going to talk about that and uh, how to fix that problem right now. Okay, basically, uh, I had a build once where the two aileron servos were working properly, okay, but the elevator, when I went to give it elevator, the whole swash kind of just moved up a little, okay, but it didn't kick forward like it's supposed to, and it didn't kick backwards. So what I did, turn on the radio here, all right. And I'll explain to you what you do. Okay, the first thing that you want to do, all right, is you want to try, obviously, to reverse them, okay, in your reverse menu for your servos. I tried that, and that didn't work. So the next thing I did was, you want to go to what's called the swash mix, all right? Click on that, okay. Now you have in the swash mix, you have your aileron, your elevator, and your pitch, okay? Now, what I decided to do, the two ailerons were working properly and none of the reversing worked. So I put, the, put it back like it was and I left, so the aileron would go left and would go right, but the elevator wasn't working. I had plus 60% on the elevator, okay, what I did was I went negative 60% and the servos all worked in sync beautifully after that, okay. Then the next problem was went to throttle up. Swash plate went down instead of going up. It's supposed to be going up. Now going down would have been okay if you're upside down, but we're not upside down. So basically we went back in the swash mix and the pitch was minus 60%. I gave it positive 60% and that made all the ailerons work properly side to side and the elevator was working properly and the throttle was making the swash plate move on. And that is found in your swash mix. Once again, you have your aileron in there, your elevator and your pitch. And basically what you're going to do is whatever percentage it is, if it's 60% on the pitch, 60% on the elevator, or 75% on the aileron, you're basically just going to reverse that to, uh, if it's plus 60, minus 60, minus 60, plus 60, and so forth. You get the picture. And that will have your helicopter working properly. Okay? And that's basically it, guys. It's pretty simple. Uh... And you want to make sure your swash, the swash type is at 120 degrees too. Uh, but it's basically pretty simple, uh, straightforward. Do your reversing first if, if you can't get them to work to cooperate. Usually you can get your two ailerons will cooperate and then you'll go into your swash mix, okay? And uh, just plus it or minus it uh, on your uh, elevator and your pitch or whatever is not working for you and you'll be good to go. So I hope this video gives you guys a little insight on uh, servo problems and if they're not cooperating on a cyclic pitch type helicopter uh, usually with your your rudder servo your that's not cooperating in sync with those so basically that's just if it's not going the right way you're you're uh, usually reversing on the gyro if the tail's not going the right way and, all, and so forth on that. But uh, anyways, I hope this video helps you out and uh, thank you for watching.